get into some shit. Okay. <laughs> so, boy, man, you pack. What's going on? Heavy here with more heavy thoughts. On my way to work, rolling with my son. <laughs> and uh, Kiki Palmer, wow. Um, she revealed. I grew up in a house where my mom would, would say, this one need to be a Larry, be like, okay, Sharon. Go on <laughs> ahead, Sharon. Yeah, but you know see, what I mean? So yeah. for me, when I entered outside of my household, right. and I saw that everybody doesn't really respect their wives or even women in the way that my dad respects my mom, it's a pretty rude awakening. Um, she believes that since her childhood included parents where her dad would say whatever you want to her mother, whatever her mother wanted, whatever her mother demanded, her father gave into it. Therefore, all men should do that. And if you don't do that, you're not respecting women. You're not respecting your mother if you don't do everything she says. You're not respecting your girlfriend or wife if you don't do everything she says. That's misogyny. That's emotional abuse if you put up resistance and you have thoughts of your own. If you don't want to do something that a female says, this is taken as misogyny, as uh, toxic masculinity. And she's explaining all of this. I hope everybody's watching this and listening because I've experienced this too. Uh, many times in your relationship um, with females, a lot of times they will say, hey, I don't want a yes man, but as soon as you're not the yes man, what happens? As soon as you remind them, hey, right now we're having a disagreement and you don't like it and you're the one who said you didn't want a yes man, but when I put up resistance, that's not what you want. You don't, you don't want my real thoughts. And, and many times that's seen as, especially if the relationship would end at the point of the resistance or the disagreement, the conflict, the, the female will take it as emotional abuse. Even if you've never, you know, belittled the person on a constant basis, never physically put hands on them, they will find a way to put some type of toxic spin on it to make it seem like you are the issue because you're not agreeing with with everything that they say and, and that's what we're dealing with here we have to wake up you are not a bad person bad husband because you are not doing everything that your female partner says you have a brain, you have a mind, you have thoughts, you have perspective, worldviews. So why can't you utilize that in your relationship? Because you, it is expected for the black male to do everything his woman says on demand. As soon as she pushes that button. And, and that's what Kiki Palmer is saying. And I think that played a, a huge part in her relationship. And it plays a huge part in other black relationships because it's this expectation that the black male should jump as soon as it's suggested that you should get off your feet and you better jump high i hope everybody's seeing this she's saying it out of her mouth and i know i've experienced something similar <sighs> but that's what we're dealing with come on wake up hey if nobody told you that you're beautiful intelligent smart I'm telling you, black man, black people, you are intelligent, beautiful, smart, ambitious. So go out there and do something with your life. Black Family Institute, heavy, I'm out.